Good morning, Faith Kids. How are you doing? I am so glad that you are tuning in to Children's Ministry. And as usual, we're going to get into the Word on, of God on today. And I know He has a word for you and how you can grow closer in a relationship with Him. So get your Bibles, get your tablets, get whatever you have your Bible on. And let's get into the Word of God. And of course, as we're going to begin with prayer. So Heavenly Father God, we come today just to thank you for who you are. We thank you, God, that you are God. You are Lord over our lives. We thank you for this time that we get to study and meditate upon your Word, God. We pray that your Holy Spirit will speak through me, lead God, and direct me as I give your Word to your children, Father. And we will give you all the praise and all the glory for all that shall be said and done in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Thank kids. Get your Bibles. You have them. Let's go into the book of Chronicles. It is in the old Testament. Thank kids. We're going to the book of first Chronicles chapter 16. And we're going to start with our memory verse. So first Chronicles chapter 16. I know you know it because you got those books of the Bible fake kids. So as we go there to First Chronicles, we're going to talk about on today because we're in the month of November and we're getting close to Thanksgiving. So a lot of times we get to focusing on being thankful. And so we're going to talk about that on today, being thankful about giving thanks unto the Lord. So if you're there, read with me First Chronicles chapter 16 and our memory verse is verse number 34. It says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. And a lot of times I know you hear the King James version quoted because we say it a lot. We sing it a lot. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. So this scripture is telling us, fake kids, that we are to give thanks to who? To God. And why are we giving thanks to God? Because he is good. So let's go back up to in the same chapter to verse number eight. And we're getting to our lesson on today. So in beginning in verse number eight, reading from the New Living Translation, it says, give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Let's stop there for a minute, fake kids. This verse says we're to give thanks to God for what he has done and let the whole world know. That means we are not ashamed to be when we're at school or when where we are to give God thanks. We say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we are not ashamed. We let the whole world know that we're thanking God for whatever, for everything we're thanking him for. And verse nine, let's read. It says, sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Again, it's telling us we can even thank him when we're singing, sing unto the Lord. And we'll again, tell the whole world. So I think it's very important, faith kids, that God is telling us Tell everyone as we're giving thanks, we're letting everyone know that we're giving God the praise and who we're praising. And so we're not ashamed of God. We're not ashamed that we're thanking him and we're praising him. So tell the whole world, fake kids, about God, that he is good, that you're thanking him for everything. Okay, let's continue to read in verse number 10. It reads, exalt his holy name, rejoice you who worship the Lord. Exalt his name, meaning lift God's name upon high faith kids. He's worthy to be praised. We exalt his name upon high. We give glory to his name, just his name alone, because he's God, right? So we lift him up and we exalt his name upon high. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. 
it tells us in the scriptures that we are to be searching for him, seeking him daily, faith kids. We, how do we seek God and search for him? Through his word. He has given us his word. That's how we get to know who God is in our lives. It's through his word. He speaks through us, through his Holy Spirit, through his word. So when we're reading our memory verses, faith kids, it's very important. Focus concentrate each week on reading your memory verse every day, a couple of times a week so that we can get to know God more. And this is how we get to know him is through his word. His word reveals to us who he is. Amen. So we want to know who God is in this scripture. Again, let's read it again. Verse 11, it says, search for the Lord and for his strength continually seek him. And when you continually seek him, it's not meaning I'm going to do it one time and not anymore. Fake is. He says continually. It means that you're always constantly seeking him, searching for him, reading his words, getting to know him by his word. So we're continually seeking the Lord. In verse number 12, it says, remember the wonders he has performed, his miracles and the rulings he has given. Let me read that in the King James Version. It says, remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. It says we're to remember God for all the great things that he has done for you, fake kids, in your life. And you, if you will sit and think, God has done great and wonderful things for you, faith kids, God does not just pour out on his blessings upon adults. No, he pours it out upon his children, all his children, no matter what age they are, from the youngest to the oldest. He says he's telling us that we're to praise him. We're to thank him for his marvelous works, for all that he has done for us. So let's take a moment, faith cat kids. I want you to think. Think about those things that you can praise God for. Let's just take a moment and we want to always praise God. There are 365 days in the year. We talked about it last week that there's 8,766 hours. We should be giving God praise even just for that, for giving us 365 days. We can say, thank you, Lord, for another year, for 365 days. So everything we can thank God for. I know you can think of some things that you can thank God for. All right, let's think about it. When you're eating your food, right? That's tend to be one that a lot of people already do, that you give grace when we sin, you know, when we're eating our food, we say our grace. Maybe you do. I hope I know you do, faith kids. So when we thank God for, for, for our food that we eat, what else we thank God for, faith kids? What can you thank God for? I know I'm here telling you. How about your parents? Of course, I know you thank God when you're praying every night, thanking him for your parents. You can even just wake up in the morning and thank God. Say, God, thank you for giving me my parents. Then you, you even wake up in the morning and say, God, thank you that you woke me up this morning. Remember, just because you might have heard the alarm or your parents saying, wake up, come, come up, wake up. No, God had to let you hear that. He had to let you hear the alarm or hear your parents. So you thank God that he woke you up every morning. So when the first thing when you get up in the morning, thank kids, you can say, Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for waking me up that I see another day. There's so many great and wonderful things you can thank God for, fake kids. Think about it. What else can you thank God for? How about Jesus? We can thank him for Jesus who came and died on the cross for us. We thank him that he sent his only begotten son. That's how much he loved you, fake kids. He sent his son here. So we can say, thank you, God, for sending Jesus. We thank you for Jesus because Jesus has saved us. So we thank him for that. How about we thank God just for just loving us? He loves us 
unconditionally. It's not about what we do or did not do that makes him love us. No, he loves us. So you can thank him, faith kids, just for loving you. Simple. What else, faith kids? I know you're there thinking of all the things which you can thank the Lord for. How about because he's good? We spread it in the scriptures. It's in your verse. It says, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. God is a good God. So we thank him because he's good to us. Not even when you don't think he's good to us, he's good to us. He's always watching over us. He's protecting us, fake kids. So you can thank him every day just for that. So when you're praying, you can just thank him for all of these things. Because remember, it tells us in the, in the scripture, it says that we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So when we're praying to God, that's the first thing we come when we're praying. We don't just begin to say, oh God, I need, I want, or this and I, help me, help me, help me. No, we begin to first to come before him thanking him and praising him for what? All of these things that we can think of for his goodness, for our parents, for his love, for Jesus, and whatever else you're thinking about that you can thank God for. We can do that. Thank God for each and everything that we have. We even thank God for things that we don't know because we, there are some things we don't even know that God is doing, but he's doing. So we just thank God for every single thing that he is doing in our lives. And not just at Thanksgiving time, faith kids, we want you to know that scripture says that we're to be giving thanks to God daily, not just the month of November. And I know it's because it's November and I'm doing the message, but no, it's because I want you to get a revelation that God wants us to thank him daily, all all the time because he is not just get good to us at Thanksgiving he's not just good to us at Christmas time he's good to us when faith kids all the time God is good all the time and so we thank him all the time for what he is doing in our lives so faith kids we know that you have had a good message on today and I know that you are going to be thanking God all the time for what he's doing for you in your life. Think about what he's doing. What is specific and special to you that God is doing just for you because he loves you just that much. And so we say, thank you, God, for all that you're doing for me. That's what you say, fake kids. So remember, read your memory verse so we get to know him more better. It's how we can seek him, fake kids. So until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.